Well, what we've seen today is the Bank of England do their job. They've made a targeted uh, and timely intervention in the market. Uh, that's their decision, but they've done so working very closely uh, with the Chancellor. We think they're the right plans because those plans make our economy competitive. At the end of the day, that's ultimately what we've got to do. What we politicians are responsible for is making the economic decisions that will drive continued growth. And you know that one of the things that's bedeviled our economy is our inability to reach that top 2.5% rate of growth. It's happened in the past. It happened uh, before the 2008 financial crisis. We can get back to that, but we're only going to do so with the programme of supply-side reform that was embedded in the growth plan. So no change, no acknowledgement that this was partly down so, to your... So get on and deliver that plan. That's what I, the Chancellor, and my colleagues in government are focused on, is getting on, delivering that growth plan. That is what's going to uh, allow consumers to benefit. We both know that we're seeing the same impacts of Putin's war in Ukraine cascading through things like the cost of energy, uh, some of the supply side implications of that, and that's impacting every major economy. And just the same, every major economy, you're seeing interest rates going up as well. So as, as we go... Not to the same degree as in the UK. Every major economy is dealing with exactly these same issues. Uh, and the Bank of England has made this timely intervention, doing what it should do, uh, what the government should do, what the Chancellor uh, and I are focused on, is delivering that economic growth plan, which is ultimately what's going to help people. It's going to give people the confidence. It's going to create jobs in the economy and keep people in work so that they can make it through the winter, benefit from that protection in energy uh, and continue to protect our standard of living. Well, what's unprecedented is the level of volatility we've seen in all developed markets. I mean, the UK went into this uh, with a strong balance sheet. But the UK, our, is, an our, our the GDP... UK is an outlier here on, in financial markets. You well, we've can got see very, that at least. We've got, a very, we've got a very strong balance sheet. The UK uh, has the second lowest debt to GDP ratio in the G7. The bank, as I say, has taken uh, the timely action that it does. It's its, its job to regulate financial markets. Um, and then what the government's got to do is to provide people with that confidence. So really big interventions to help every single household with the cost of energy. If we hadn't done that, Ed, just think about what the implications would be in terms of people's confidence and their cost of living this winter.